It's December, the month of Christmas, a month of gifting and giving. But 2020 has not exactly been a great year for us. So what shall we give? What shall we gift our loved ones, our families? For those who are troubled, for those for whom family is everything, for those who seek guidance on family matters, and for those for whom family matters. Here in Atma Darshan, we bring to you Atma Darshan's YouTube FM, Family Matters. Words. And words are all I have to take your heart away. This is a famous line from a very famous song of the late 1960s. But this is not just the story of words taking your heart away, for words can take your heart, it can break your heart, it can mend your heart, it can change your heart, it can heal your heart. This December, how we use our words will determine to a large extent how we gift Christmas to one another. The first story of Christmas illustrates this. It was a cold, crowded evening in Bethlehem. Joseph and Mary were tired and desperately looking for a place for Mary was about to deliver her first child. They looked around, they searched, they knocked at an inn and the answer they got was, there is no room. There is no room. How often have we said these words to one another? Every time we shout, every time we insult, every time we don't listen to one another, every time we abuse, every time we use bad words, in a way we are telling the other person, there is no room for you over here. So also sometimes our silence can communicate this. When my partner is struggling over there and I do nothing to help out, I am telling there is no room for you. When my child is confused and maybe is having his own struggles, his own struggles, I do nothing to help out. I am saying there is no room for you. When my parents are struggling, working hard and I'm, I get busy with my own things, in a way I am telling them there is no room for you. I don't think we require this kind, this kind of words this Christmas. Luckily for us, that same Bethlehem evening, we have another set of words. The angel comes to the shepherds who are about to retire for the evening and tells them, do not be afraid, I bring you good news. Do not be afraid, I bring you good news. I believe these are the words that are going to make sense to a lot of us. 2020 has not been a great year. The pandemic, the lockdown has resulted in a lot of grief, loss, pain, uncertainty, worries. And I believe these words bring us a lot of comfort, a lot of hope. It's the quality of our presence, the quality of our words that are going to make a difference to one another today. A story of Ollie's, a little girl will illustrate this. Ollie's was an eight-year girl and she had the tragedy of losing her best friend and classmate Priya to a horrific accident. The next day of the accident, Ollie's tells her mother, I'll just go to Priya's house, which was just a block away. And so, Ollie's goes to the house. Ollie's takes a long time to come back and the mother is worried. And when she comes back, she asks her, what took you such a long time? And Ollie's replied, when I went there, Priya's mother was crying. So I just climbed into her lap. I wiped her tears and I told her, I'm also your baby. And Priya's mother just held me and she will not allow me to go. And that is how I got delayed and that is how I consoled her. Dear friends, I believe the small girl in her own way communicates what it means to be, do not be afraid, I am good news to you. And probably there are so many of us beginning in our own families who will like that kind of presence in, for this Christmas today. And so before, we go to buy any gift. Let us ask ourselves whether I'm able to give the gift of words to my near and dear ones, to my family, to my loved ones. 
I live with this song which says the same thing sing them over to me wonderful words of life see